The RPG genre is probably my favourite and most played. Why? I don't really know. It could be the freedom of customization. it could be the ways that they're laid out. But one significance between most non-RPGs and RPGs is the ability to customise your character. My name is Stanley Willowen and welcome back to Kingdom Come Talk. Today I'll be looking at the customization within Kingdom Come Deliverance. So with a game as big as Kingdom Come, Warhurst will need to create thousands of different characters throughout the land of Bohemia. I mean, you don't want it to end up like Oblivion, with the same high elf following you from town to town. All in all, Oblivion was a great game, but the NPCs were a bit off from time to time. However, Warhurst have solved this. They've created their own personal tool for the Cry Engine they are using to create the game with. This was simply to make the development easier for them, to get the smaller things done with greater efficiency. Warhurst are pretty proud of it as is. It can do loads of stuff from what we've been shown, and don't worry, they've stated that they will be allowing modders access to it later on. With this tool, they can change almost every aspect of the character's appearance, whether it be their weight, muscle scale, or even small facial details. And you guys know how Warhurst are really going with the realistic feel. Yup, you're gonna see the physical injuries on the characters you or somebody else damages. I'm looking forward to see that in action. Hopefully at E3. So, you're not going to be customising much of Henry, to my knowledge at least. They could allow us to have some sort of customisation in his appearance, since there will be a female playable character. Anyway, most of this stuff is just for the NPCs. The 16 equipable clothing system, however, is the pride and joy of this tool, and a thing you will be using with Henry. You can have up to 16 layers to keep you as protected as possible. Talk about being prepared. But they are sticking to reality, so some equipment is going to be more effective against certain weapons. For instance, if you are wearing all chainmail, you would be well protected against swords, but weak against arrows. Or you could be wearing plate mail, which is effective against most weapons, apart from heavy blunt weapons such as war hammers. And remember, the AI systems will be pretty smart, and will try to counter you as much as they can, and try to use your weaknesses against you. But remember, every layer will have a different purpose and won't be a waste of your time. You will be able to pick up clothes from dead people, if you're worrying about trading your way up to the best gear. The clothes will all get worn down over time and extensive use. They will also get dirty if you decide to go into some muddy areas. And if you ever get hit or hit someone nearby you, expect some splashback and blood stains. So you will have to wash your character's clothes when they start to get a bit dirty or you could possibly end with some sort of disease or virus, which I'm pretty sure is going to be in the game. Not 100% confirmed though, I'll get at Warhorse about it. Dan Vavra has said they could essentially make unlimited amounts of characters with this tool, even a thousand man army, all with differences. So you know what that means, when they release the tool to modders, I'm getting myself access to it and I'm adding myself to the game. It would be weird, but pretty goddamn awesome. In conclusion, to public knowledge we won't be able to customise Henry's appearance, but that is still a possibility for future builds, who knows. You will be able to cut your hair into different styles, grow your beard or have it cleanly cut. And finally, you can choose out your own wardrobe, if you've earned enough coin or kill enough rich folk. But the small details seem to be off limits for now. I'll probably end up creating another video about the armour sometime soon with more types and such when more information is confirmed. In the meantime, I will have more content planned, hopefully weekly. So, that was the customization for the characters within the Kingdom Come Deliverance game, which I'm looking forward to see more of. I like to see if they continue to make every character different and unique across the whole map, and we see no duplicates. I hope you've enjoyed, and please do tell me your thoughts on the customization too. I think it's pretty swell. What about you? My name is Stally111, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you've not done so already. I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.